Hey everyone, a while ago at the Dollar Tree, I found these little, uh, wind-up Halloween toys. Let's see, it says hopping toy, but some of them, it doesn't look like they hop. Like, it looks like they walk. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna open up these, wind them up, see how they work. You know, if they are hopping toys, they kind of missed an opportunity to have a Chinese hopping vampire. Okay, anyway, uh, yeah, let's start the video. Let's open up one of these guys. Uh, who first? How about, uh, this happy jack-o'-lantern with a little witch hat? That's cute. And there he is out of the bag, or she, or whatever. You know, that little hat might actually be a pilgrim hat, too. Maybe they can recycle it for Thanksgiving toys. Let's see. Sculpting and paint on these, like, for dollar store, like, just holiday toys, these are pretty cool. Like, this is, yeah, pretty decent. I like this. Okay, well, let's wind them up. Let's see how he goes. Okay, well, he goes for a pretty long time. Uh, I'm surprised. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Uh, let's see, let's try him up again. Okay, well, there's a jack-o'-lantern. So, who next? Uh, how about we try the eyeball next? And here we got Hopping Eyeball. Yeah. Okay, anyway, shoes are the same as uh, the jack-o'-lantern. Looks to be about the same kind of idea. You wind him up, and I guess he hops. Kind of wonder, why an eyeball? Why not, like, another actual monster? Oh, well, whatever. Let's see how he hops. Okay, well, uh, I wasn't expecting him to hop differently. This one seems to have uh, quite a bit more rapid of hops. <laughs> Alright, and uh, there's Hopping Eyeball. So, let's see, who next? Uh, how about this mummy guy, who I don't think hops, but uh, I guess we'll see. And here's our mummy. Let's take a close look, because this guy's got some interesting detail on him. I like the paint job, the googly eyes, the teeth sticking out. Actually painted all... well, uh, the side of him isn't really painted that well, but... Like, it, it's pretty impressive that he's painted, like, on the back and on the arms. That's pretty... Yeah, uncommon for a dollar store toy. So, hmm. Okay, well, let's wind him up and see what he does. Okay, he doesn't go quite as long as, uh... Oh, okay, so... Okay, yeah. He doesn't go... Oh, and now he's going a little bit more. If I tap this thing... Okay, I think he's done now. So yeah, he doesn't go quite as long as the other ones, and uh, he walks instead of hopping. False advertising on the package, I guess. Anyway. Neat little thing. It's a neat little thing to uh, screw around with, I guess. If uh, you have some kids for a Halloween party, these are neat little... Uh, doohickeys to give them. Hmm. Uh oh I think his... Oh, okay, there it goes. Now, apparently the little mechanism down here... 
Let's see, the feet have these like little, eh, these little slats sticking out the sides of their feet to help keep their balance, but apparently they do get stuck occasionally, so that's something to watch out for, I guess. And so last up is uh, our little Frankenstein dude here. Let's take him out of the bag. And here's our little Frankenstein out of the packaging. Let's take a close look at him. Got nice little face, got the flat top, traditional for Frankenstein. Got patches on his clothes. Don't really know what this uh, black stuff is here. I guess uh, his shirt's ripped or something. No detail on the back or the arms like on a mummy, but still, I, I like this. It's nice classic Frankenstein look. I think maybe he could use some uh, teeth sticking out like the mummy. So yeah, let's wind him up, see how he goes. Okay, so... About the same as the mummy. I think he moves a little quicker than the mummy does. I don't know, maybe he's a little tiny bit lighter. He does actually feel a little lighter than the mummy. Let's have these guys uh, go on a little race here. Okay, well, they go about the same, plus they kind of go in a curve, so they end up bumping into each other. Let's have the little hopping dudes in, too. Okay, so, yeah, here's these weird little... Not really sure what you'd call them. Uh, hopping toy. Oh, you know what? I just want to say I love that retro image of the jack-o'-lantern, that is cool. Little spider web I'm kind of neutral on. That's really generic looking, but I like the old uh, jack o' lantern. It reminds me of like really old Halloween things from when I was a kid. Okay, let's look at the back here. Not really anything too interesting to point out there. Just whatever. But yeah, these are pretty fun little whatevers. If you're a Dollar Tree, you see these things. If you're having a Halloween party and you're looking for like little party favors to give out, uh, these are nice little things. Um, or if you're, like, a collector, or you, ha you know somebody who's a fan of, like, some specific monster. Like, if you know someone who likes mummies, or Frankenstein, uh, or eyeballs. Yeah, I don't really get the eyeball one. That one's pretty weird. The jack-o'-lantern one is really cool. I think the jack-o'-lantern one might be my favorite. He's just so classic looking. I love the little hat. That is such a neat little detail. Whoops. I dropped him. Here he is. Okay, so, yeah, there's these things. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.